That's a male dog tick. Very short, stocky mouth parts, but they have like that coloration to them. There's different characteristics though that will be different for each species. We're out with Denrex Tick Program, which started about five years ago as a research program to do surveillance to find out what kind of tick populations we have in Delaware. Okay, we're gonna check, check the flag every, yeah, every 10 meters, like Will said. Worldwide, there's over 800. They are active year round. And in fact, if you're bitten by a tick in the winter, that's a tick bite you wanna take really seriously because the ticks that are the most active during the winter are gonna be adult black-legged ticks. And those are the ones that are statistically the most likely to uh, infect you with a pathogen. Your risk of getting a tick bite might be highest in the summer, but your risk of getting sick from a tick bite is going to be highest in the winter. I was able to participate in one of the tick collection efforts, and this is something that the Denrex staff does all year long, multiple times a week. This science starts with dragging a piece of cloth across some grass, collecting ticks, we know of 19 tick species that have been reported in Delaware. Out of those 19 species, most of those wouldn't bite people. A lot of those are what we consider wildlife specialists. So when it comes to the human biting ticks, the three top species of concern are the black-legged tick, the lone star tick, and the American dog tick. So this is the, the lone star tick and the American dog tick. The lone star tick, it makes up about 97% of the ticks that the tick program collects when we're doing our surveillance and it's more common the farther south you go in Delaware. In northern Newcastle County we see more American dog ticks and also black-legged ticks. I just love um, helping to get the word out about ticks because you know they are scary but you know, I don't want anyone to develop a tick phobia. It's, it's just knowing the risks so that you can take the appropriate action to protect yourself and cut down on your risk. It's amazing to watch these experienced professionals. This is a program that is getting bigger and more knowledgeable every year and can really protect Delawareans.